printed by a sign company. Yeah. And it was a... Um, it was a vinyl... A vinyl, a vinyl yeah. applique. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So if you have something that's, say, that's like 16 by 20 inches, mm -hmm. what would be the best way? I mean, I don't know what a vinyl applique would run. Well, you know, there's, there's a, a, a lot of different ways to do it. Vinyl is one way. Okay. But then there's also... Um, if you can transfer, now I know you know Steve Good, and, and yeah. you, you get patterns from probably, he has all yeah. kinds of oh, yeah, yeah. through patterns. Every, every day. He has amazing stuff. Yeah. But um, if you've got a special logo. <laughs> I'm wrapped, all tied up. He's wrapped around. Like, he, wrapped, wrapped around. like don't, don't take maybe. a step. Um, so um, a lot of times, if you, if you can transfer, like if you had an image like this, but mm -hmm. let's say let's say this thing was sixteen. You needed this image. Yeah, yeah. Let's say you needed that sixteen by twenty-two. Whatever. Yeah, right. You can upload if you've got this on your computer. Yeah, and you could probably scan this. Yeah. put it on your computer. Yeah. You could upload it to a, a website called RapidResizer.com. Oh, I've heard of that. And then so okay. what this will do oh, is man. it will you can stretch it. You can it doesn't have to be in proportion. Correct. It, you can stretch it whichever way you want. Yeah. Yeah. And then hit print, and what it will do is it'll print out tiles, okay, eight and a half by eleven sheet uh, tiles. Okay, you just put them together, and you can, and then you just transfer it onto the board. Okay, there's several ways to do and with that. With the with the resizer, can you mirror it? So, Absolutely. oh yeah, and then and then you're going to print it on the the freezer paper or you something. You can either do it on the freezer paper, but now I'm starting to use um, like label backer, like when you have labels. Yeah, you could probably print this, it on. Oh, that. I have. Yeah, yeah, you could probably. Yeah, I've used it, this. yeah. Now the thing that I would like about this, like the label backer, is you can kind of see through it. Yeah. If you have something printed on that, you, it's kind of translucent. You yeah. can see through it. Yeah. That's where you said I like the label backer over the yeah. freezer paper. They both work great. And I, but because with freezer paper, it's pretty solid. You can't see through it. So when you're trying to put that on the board, you don't know exactly where it is. Right. With this. You can. You can kind of see through it. So and that's I, one way. And what I've done with this is um, I've actually taped it down to a regular sheet of paper because this is kind of really flimsy. Yeah. So it doesn't get caught in the printer. Yeah. It's yeah. torn up. Yeah. But, but the label backer, you don't have to worry right. about that because it's made to go right. through. I have some big pieces that are 16 by 20 yeah. um, that actually have uh, uh, the one piece uh, was selected by the town of Dillon. To be on in in part of one of their public displays, really? it was so fantastic, oh so gosh. fantastic, and that's the second time that they've selected my work to be part of their public display. Amazing, and, that's cool. And you it's know, the, we the need biggest. To, we need to back up because you haven't even introduced yourself. Oh, we've been here. <laughs> that's been because we've been, and hour. I haven't been filming. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, oh. so let's kind of back up, uh, okay. introduce yourself, where we're at, and I should be better dressed. You look fine. I mean, here we're this in This is my sweat. usual state of, of, of consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> it's a discreet. All, right, All right, so uh, we are in I'm Dillon, sorry, I'm putting down Dillon, my bag. Colorado. We're on our way back from the road show that we did yesterday, which was, uh, we just had such a great time. And uh, I'm hoping that it was uh, helpful for a lot of people. But anyway, so uh, Len was uh, gracious enough to invite us to stop by, kind of see his shop. We're going to give you a little bit of a tour of his shop. Uh, Sherlock is impressed. <laughs> He's walking around checking the place out. And uh, so uh, anyway, so uh, give us kind of a synopsis of, you know, what okay, you yeah. do and who you are and all of that. So, so take it away. Yeah. So, so my name's Len. I'm primarily a scroll sawer, scroller. And I've been doing that for probably eight, 10 years or so, uh, just purely as a hobbyist. Uh, but I am in an art gallery here in Silverthorne, Colorado, and um, have been very, very fortunate and blessed to be able to uh, be up here and be able to do this. And, and, and I am just awfully always impressed and, uh, by the number of people who are willing to spend their hard-earned money yeah. for uh, something that I've created and want to hang it up in their house, yeah. hopefully in a primary spot, you know, yeah. not maybe the water closet yeah. <laughs> or the yeah. closet. Well, if they spend good money on it, chances are they're going to go yeah. somewhere where and they so, can enjoy it. So I, I, that's a huge compliment to me. Oh, yeah. And this is, again, that's just a hobby. I really, truly enjoy doing this and just for fun. Yeah. And it's just a way, uh, selling things is an outlet for me to, right. to, to pay for itself 
paid for my activities, biking and skiing. Yeah. Um, and uh, so I. But you're retired. I'm a retired police officer from Omaha, Nebraska. Gotcha. And um, have been so for a few years. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, this this is my life, and I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Um, Good for you. Really. Well, really thank good. you for your service. Thank you very you much. Know thank you. Oh, I see that all the time on your videos, and yeah, that caught my eye right away. More so <laughs> than your more so than your routering, but. Um, what, 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 what interests me about routering is that I want to see if this is a good companion and complement to what I already do. Yeah. And I think it is because a lot of the patterns that I have uh, already and things that I've already cut in with scroll saw, yeah. um, I think I can do with a router yeah. too. Yeah. And it would just make it uh, give me another option. Yeah. And also for some of my customers to have another option. I could yeah. do it this and way being, or I could do it this way. Being able to mix those two mediums together. There's a lot of people. Do you have some of your pieces in here you can show us? Yes, give me one second off camera or you can follow me. Let me do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh perfect. So, um, this is one that, that's been finished for a little while and I want to I want to reframe it. And this actually is the one that has the most cuts in it. It has, wow. it, it's uh, 11 by 17. And it has oh 901 gosh. cuts in it. So this is going into the gallery. This isn't a this, commission job. This is something that will correct, go into the correct. gallery oh, for sale. Beautiful. However, because uh, I use a technique called stack cutting, yeah. um, which allows me to make better use of my time, and each piece supports itself. Yeah. I've already sold one of these. There's only three. Gotcha. And I've sold one in the gallery. Yeah. And then this one I want to reframe because I'm not happy with the framing gotcha and so is this what it's selling for right and that's here? yeah that's what it, yeah that's yeah. what i sell it for yes and i have uh 35 cutting hours in there Hold on, i want not, to zoom in on that not to mention the uh let me know if i got glare on nope, that you're good um but uh not to mention any of the prep time or the finishing time the framing and right and right. finishing time that's just 35 cutting hours. 35 you hours know, on really the scroll a, saw that is something yeah, that babe. i'd never really considered before is not only do I I'm not good at keeping track of how much I spend how much time I spend yeah. on the project okay, I'm but too when you're, close guys oh we're too, too close. close when you're doing a job like this I need this, to get away from him yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you're spending uh, as much time and all of that and you're putting it up for sale as a non-commissioned piece something that somebody like an art gallery, obviously, yeah. having that kind of detail yeah. really lends itself because somebody says, "Oh, four hundred thirty-five dollars for a little piece like that." But when you give that, gives it some value and it, and and appreciation exactly. for what goes into it. Exactly, that's, that's what I've been doing. That's that what I've been. Great, that's what I've started idea. to do. Yeah. Um, because that's exactly because somebody would say, "Well, how long does it take you to cut that?" And I go, "I really don't know." Yeah. And so I started keeping track, especially on my more involved, bigger pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Um, things that I've done and so I keep track of that and then also another another day. thing that I've uh, I'm working still working on I'm putting the final touches on is a certificate of authenticity oh, and a lot a of professional uh, artists, artists will apply, will give oh, a certificate of authenticity mm -hmm. oh, basically good. explaining that hey this piece was created by so-and-so yeah. handcrafted you know, and we certify, that. and we certify yeah. this is authentic. Yeah, that it wasn't, it wasn't kicked out in. It wasn't mass produced by somebody uh, in China, in, in China or Taiwan or whatever. Exactly, it's just handcrafted here. It in adds, this yeah. adds more yeah. credibility absolutely. to your piece and to yeah. your art. Yeah, and absolutely, that's, and that's which important. adds value, which yes. then adds uh, more likely that somebody's going to say, yeah, I'll pay for it's that because likely, I know yeah. it wasn't done, yeah. you know, offshore exactly. somewhere. You know? So when, when uh, I have somebody, a, a customer who comes up to me and says, can you do this or this or that, or yeah. they want to have something that's altered or changed, um, you know, they already know that they're getting a handcrafted yep. piece, but then when you, when you customize it for them, it even adds more, exactly. they have a more of a connection to yep. it. Yeah. Uh, the last couple pieces I did was um, I do this. Um, here, I'm going to set this down. So um, I'm currently working on this piece here. And oops, that's okay. Sherlock didn't do that. No, not yet. <laughs> so I, I grabbed the whole thing. So yeah. this is a this is a real common piece I have that I'm working on now. So I'm going to let that slide. Otherwise, it'll fall on the floor. Yeah. So what I normally do these are called Colorado cyclists or Colorado hikers. 
and I, this is the background that okay. I use. Yeah. All dusty. But then I'll put in cyclists, a cut out cyclists. Can I, like that up there? Can I zoom in on that? Yes. Okay, oh, so yeah. let me go up to here first. But, so this piece here, I did Ride the Rockies, RTR, yeah. in 2018 with a friend of mine. Uh -huh. And this was the cover of their map book. It's a uh -huh. week-long ride, bike, bicycle ride through Colorado. Uh -huh. And uh, you're climbing one or two passes every single day. Really? Wow. And so that was the cover of their map book. And so my buddy and I, who did the ride, when I was done, I said, you know what, that'd make a great cutting. Yeah. So I, I photographed it and then I did what we were talking about yeah. earlier. Yeah. And I just created the pattern and then I cut it out. And this technique is actually called segmentation. Gotcha. Yeah. So segmentation is a one piece of wood. You cut it up into the individual parts. Yeah. And I like, I like to see the grain of the wood. So yeah. I don't like to paint. Yeah. Uh, so all this, well, this has been painted because yeah. I wanted it to be solid. But everything else is, it's like I, put paint on, I put paint on it and yeah. I wipe the paint right. off. So it so becomes I, like a whitewash or, a, or, a, like or a, stain. a stain. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so then I created that and I made two of these, one for me and one for him. Yeah. And, uh, and it's cool. just been really, really cool. Yeah. Three years ago, I was uh, coming down the bicycle path. Yeah. Uh, from Copper Mountain, uh -huh. and there's a there's a trailhead there called Officers Gulch. Yeah. Well, as I was coming through the trailhead, a mountain goat stepped in front of me, and I was doing 24 miles an hour, mm. and I hit the goat. <laughs> I spent he laughs, <laughs> but I yeah. spent the last I spent the next five days in the hospital oh my gosh. with a broken clavicle, which required surgery. Oh gosh. I had two broken ribs and a collapsed lung. Yeah. Oh, so God. darn good. So I so when I was in physical therapy, I was looking around the physical therapy, and all around the whole place were all these posters and pictures of all these prof professionals, yeah. professional athletes, and uh, you know world class people. Yeah. And I'm looking, and they got all these signatures, you know, and, and photographs. And I says, I want to be part of this. Yeah. So I created this piece. <laughs> <laughs> so I created this piece. And uh, there's oh, two of them, this one and the one that's hanging in the, uh, at the front door of the physical therapy oh, office. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cool. And then I found this little, uh, little, uh, cartoon. little cartoon that says, well, it was a good run. And then here it says, 102 days without an accident. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a goat falling off the cliff. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. That's amazing. So can cool. we, I got to shut this down here in a minute because yeah. can you finish explaining? Oh, okay. What so, there? so this piece here, what's going on with this? I usually do this and I put cyclists or hikers on here. Mm -hmm. And then that's what happens is somebody says, can you do? And so the last couple pieces I've had of several hikers, two or three hikers yeah. and dogs. That they, you can add to. I can yeah. mix them up because the yeah. background is all the same. I yeah. stack cut these. And then I actually stack cut the hikers and dogs so and stuff. Them for Somebody else says, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I and I and I look online for images, you know, mm -hmm. silhouettes yeah. for different kind of dogs. Whether I just had a Newfoundland yeah. labs, of course, are mm -hmm. you know common and yeah. stuff like that. But the Newfie was different. Yeah. I can even do Sherlock and yeah. put Sherlock <laughs> in there. Yeah. And then yeah. um, this particular customer wanted the names of the of the of this it's for a wedding yeah. gift gotcha. and they wanted their names with the date and I was wondering how to do that and so what I ended up thinking about doing was I did want to route this piece goes uh -huh. will go in here this is yeah. the wrong size piece this was yeah. a, just a practice piece yeah but it'll go in here and I was I was hoping to maybe router it out uh, -huh. uh but um, my pretty, first attempt, pretty, pretty tight yeah, that's maybe. pretty tight. Well, yeah, my so, money, give it, give it some practice before you attempt that. Well, here's yeah. the, here's the issue with this particular stuff. This is a cedar faced yeah. plywood. Oh, okay. it's already thin. Yeah. So I can't sand. sand it down. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm going to do, I already talked to them. I am doing the freezer paper technique Okay. and yeah. they are good with this as long as, so I have to seal this because Rebecca or Rachel rather, didn't come out very clear, but uh -huh. Alex did, <clears throat> excuse yeah. me, and the date came out really yeah. clear. Yeah. So, and I only put one coat of urethane on this. Yeah. I'm thinking if I put two or three, it'll, it'll, it won't bleed as much. Right. And then I'll be able to put it in, and they're happy with that because yeah. 
this is really not the focus of it. It's right. It's right. everything else. And so, so then you'll working. scroll this. No, I'm not. Oh, okay. No, I'm going to leave it. You just leave printed. it the way. Okay, I got it. Because it's really too small. Yeah. Um, and I could kind of scroll this, but I would have to get a different font. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, I'd have to have a font that is more that keeps the you yeah, know the, you don't the have circles. The dropouts. Exactly. The dropouts. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. that's the way this is going to go. That'll be cool. Um, okay, I, I'm going to shut this down and then okay. we'll pick up again in okay. a little while. Okay. All right. Part for me. Yeah, and, and it is for most people. Uh, a lot of it is that because because especially if you don't have a background of doing signage, signage right. and again. Right. Now I, I like um, yesterday, Bob was there, he had, he used to own a sign shop, a vinyl oh, sign shop. Oh, really? So he comes oh. with that skill set already oh, yeah, in place. Yeah, yeah, Most yeah. people that get into this, they come with the woodworking skill set. Bob didn't have that, yeah. but he had the sign. So then it just becomes, okay, so what's the biggest challenge? And a lot of people that are woodworkers don't have a sign background. Yeah. I fortunately have both because that's all I've ever done. Yeah. But but that is a challenge for a lot of people is the yeah. layout part of it. So yeah, because for instance, here's the perfect example. Uh, I have these two pieces of mesquite here, and now I want to find where did I do it? Oh, you know what I got? So, uh, uh, gosh darn it. That's all right, take your time. Oh, let's just grab this. This is not the exact one, but yeah. I have from Sue May, scroll saw artist. Yeah. Um, I just, she's one of the uh, sources I have for uh, for patterns. patterns right. She produces these really nice rustic wood slab patterns. Right. And I have these two pieces of mesquite. Yeah. Mesquite, yeah. not yeah. mesquite. Mesquite. Right. They're just beautiful. That comes. You know, a lot of this comes from down in Arizona. This is I know. one of the, I know. the things that we do have down there. Yeah. Not. Right, in our so area. so yeah. um, the, this was at one time uh, one piece. Yeah, and I cut them in two because the grain. Yeah, it's almost it was, book matched. You, it almost book matched, matched, but yeah. when it was together, it was too hard to figure out a pattern that yeah. would comp, that would bring that together. Yeah. So then, so let's say I want to put this pattern on here. Yeah. Talk to me. Okay, so is there anything that you're adding to this pattern? No, I'm going to just leave the pattern away. Just the pattern yeah. the way it is. So what I would do now. Do you have this uh, digitally? I do. You do? In a PDF. In a PDF. So what you could do, again, Rapid Resizer, you could upload this into Rapid Resizer, and you could stretch this out however okay. long you wanted okay. it to be. And then literally transfer it on using the freezer paper. Does Rapid Resizer allow you to mirror it? Because yes, absolutely. absolutely. Oh, you can does. mirror, stretch. Oh, uh, oh. You can mirror it, you can flip oh, it. You I'm can loving you guys it. even more. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you can mirror it this way. You, yeah, can yeah. Mirror, you can flip it this way. You, you can, can turn a picture into a, uh, a line have, drawing. Yeah, if you, you have can a do photograph. it. And it's Maybe like a $60 a year. Yeah. Oh, is that it? Okay, yeah. I was just going to ask you. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a. Well, they have three. It's three tiers. Three tiers. The first tier is 29, second tier is like 50, 55, okay. and then there's a the third tier. We've had the mid tier one for Fast years. three, four, five years, and I've never been not been able to do anything that I wanted to do. But but yeah. that's because I think this is a good pattern. I think it's something like pattern. this for 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 routering. Yeah, you can router this pattern. Absolutely. So you could center that, but then you might add something to it from a layout perspective. Right. If you wanted to leave this the site, then I would, yeah. you know, rather than have a lot of blank, you might add no, no, something this comes in, here. Well, this comes in two pieces. This is two, there's two sections to Oh, this. okay. That's, that's just one half. And oh. Here's the other half. Well, then this perfect. would go over here. Yeah. And, uh, and then, then this piece goes, goes over, over here. here. Then, yeah. And you put them together and, yeah. um, but anyway, yeah, rapid resizer would be That's perfect great. for that situation. That's yeah. great. But if you did have just one piece and, and it didn't look too odd because sometimes you can stretch stuff yeah. and it doesn't look right. So you have, yeah. everyone is a little yeah. bit different. We just did one that we did that to. We stretched it out because I was doing it on a, on a cabinet door panel. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, a, um, it's a, a picture of Beetlejuice. You know, from the old Michael Keaton video, yeah, just yeah. a Halloween giveaway thing that I'm doing. Right. I'm kind of giving that away. But anyway, <laughs> but we, we, that's we, not we, a bad. We, we Literally. Need to, <laughs> yeah, that's on the table saw. I um, think he's stuck. Yeah, and cop it on something. Oh, he's yeah. dragging me. There you go. Well, hold on to that. Oh, that'd be cool if he just grabbed <laughs> <I know. laughs> My finger? 
Yeah, that'd be, that'd be cool. Either way, it's good content. Um, but yeah, but yeah, we stretched it up, but it didn't look too weird. But yeah. this comes sometimes it will look weird, so you have yes. to just kind of judge it by yeah. the size of the board. Yeah. But yeah, rapid resizing would be your best friend from a layout oh, perspective. Excellent. And it does have fonts in there. Oh. Uh, it has, a, and they're adding more fonts all the time. So you could, if you wanted, to add wording to it. You could do that within rapid resizing. Hey, hey. Hi there. <laughs> You're going to be on television. <laughs> You're famous. Um, so, yeah, rapid resizing, that would be your best friend from a layout yes. perspective. Yes. On something like and this. so, normally, this is the way I lay things out. Yeah. Um, is that I, I you just cut, cut, paste, cut, paste, and resize, shrink, mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. Until I get into, and even just coming up with the general idea. Yeah. And but from a scrolling pop, pop, proposition, you know, position, um, it, it kind of it seems to work, but it's very labor intensive. Yeah. Yeah. Very labor intensive, and I'm I. That's the part, the creativity part, that I struggle with. Yeah. Um, I have contacted a couple people who I know who are great at drawing and stuff, and they're willing to come out and help me. You know, gonna be if you have access to somebody that has artistic ability, I have zero. Uh -huh. I have to figure it out. You're, you, you and I are in the skill set. Yeah. But not in the in artistic, designing, artistic yeah. drawing. And we, but we do have people that find us that haven't done woodworking, but they have an, or they're painters yeah. or they're, oh, yeah. you know. Tattoo they artists. Yeah. They draw it out and say, can you cut this? Right. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Or, or they, um, they want to add woodworking to their artistic yeah. ability yeah. and they make signs that are just, they just absolutely spectacular. I can make those signs, but I can't, I can't uh, draw. I can't I sit down. It. I got to find a creative way to get the image on the board then yeah. I can fall in line. So, yeah. Um, yeah. We all have our God things, you know, that God gives us, That's right. and that we yeah. can work with those and, yeah. and develop those. Yeah. 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 And, and, and a lot of times uh, when I have somebody who approaches me and says, can you do something like this? And I says, well, what I'll do is I'll come up with a pattern, and then we'll go back and forth yep. via email or something yep. and tweak that pattern until you find out what it is. Yeah. And I always have told everybody that I know or that approaches me, my customers, said, look, Unless you put a name or a date on it, it, it doesn't come out and meet your expectations. Don't buy it. Yeah. I want you to be happy. Don't yeah. buy it. I'll I'll put it in the gallery and we'll sell it somebody else. Well, that it. and that is a no. that's a really good point. I generally you are we okay? We're good. Okay. Yeah. Good. <laughs> pricing. Pricing. Yeah. How do you um, how do you figure out a pricing? And I know markets are different here, yeah. there, and yeah. Everything you're else. in a high dollar market here, so you yeah. you know there's people that either the locals that live here because of the cost of living, uh, they're going to yeah. buy something here yeah. and pay twice as much as they would yeah. in the town where we're from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. or three times or four right. times. So that you have to take that into account. Mm -hmm. But then you also like you know I, I think what you have here, they're getting a heck of a deal at four hundred thirty five dollars yeah. for that. Me, most of the stuff that I create doesn't have this kind of a time um, in, uh, investment. Yeah. In it. Most of the yeah. stuff is, you know, I've got a day in it or yeah. whatever. Yeah. So uh, for me, it's it's easy for me to figure it out because of square footage. So I figure out what, you know, oh, if, I if a sign was the size of this yeah. bench, I'd measure it both ways, figure out the square foot, and then depending on the complexity, maybe it's going to be inset yeah. letters, yeah. letters that just and, is... And here's my wife. Come on hi, in, Chris. Hi. Come on out. Chris, come in. <laughs> yeah. This oh, is... <laughs> That's, That's Sherlock. Sherlock. First, and, first and foremost is the most yes. important. Yeah. Hi, he's our he's our traveling and kitty. This is Eric. I'm Eric. Hi, Eric. I'm oh, Vicky. I'm YouTube. filming, so and, you're on yeah, camera. You're gonna yeah. be on YouTube. Oh, oh no, no, that's YouTube. not good. Yeah. <laughs> you look great. That's terrific. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. Oh, you're a sweetie. It's nice. Sherlock. He loves everybody. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, for me, I I kind of figure my base price or my base pricing on square footage so mm -hmm. if i've got two foot by five foot i know i've yeah. got 10 square feet yeah I'm just and then you go from there and then i figure okay my and, and so it depends on where you're at for now 
I've raised my prices a lot because I don't want a lot of commission work. I don't have time. We're making yeah, videos. Yeah. From da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah. But back in the day, it was like I wanted to price this stuff so so people would accept the, the job, and I and that's the way I made my money. Right. So it right. depends on where you're at in your life and, okay. and whether how busy okay. you are and all that. But, but that's I, a quick, simple answer. Yeah, and, and, I, and I tell people somewhere around fifty dollars a square foot yeah. is very, very fair. In fact, it's better than fair. It's really cheap, basically. But most guys that are doing this are doing it on yeah. the side. Maybe they're retired law mm -hmm. enforcement or fire you know, or, or military Something. or whatever, retired, yeah. and they've already got any income, yeah. and they don't have to worry about yeah. th this money paying the bills. It's just to buy tools or whatever. Yeah. So it it. It's so subjective to where you're at, but 50 bucks is a square foot is what I say is kind of the minimum, even if you're making a, a decent product. Yeah. And 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 the That's problem it. is most of us are so self-critical that we we can't understand whether our product yeah. is really good enough. Yeah. Or, or and oh, generally speaking, yeah, yeah. we guess that we're it's on the negative that it's not good enough to sell. I yeah. get that all the time, and yeah. I'm looking at pictures and heck yeah, that's good enough to sell. People are going to love that. Anyway, so then from $50 would be kind of the low end. If it's inset, it's very simple, and mm -hmm. I've got less time. If it's outset letters, and we talked about that, well, this is kind of inset letters and outset letters. Right, it's right. kind of that. So if it's outset letters, you've got more time in. Maybe there's a, a detailed picture on there, some artwork, logo, right. whatever. Then it would be up to, bump, you, you, know, you would bump up yeah. 60, 70, 80. Right now, my base is around $100 a square foot because, again, I don't want that much business. Yeah. And if I do take a job, I will only take it if I know it's going to make good content for the channel. <laughs> Maybe it's something that's yeah. a little bit unique, yeah. something yeah. I haven't done before, and I can, Excellent. and it's like, oh, yeah, that'll make good content. So mm -hmm. I'm kind of double dipping that way. If they buy it, okay. I'm making money there, and it's great content for the channel. So, again, it's kind of subjective to where you're at in your life. How much money do you want to make on this, or you just want to make enough to pay for buying tools there and there? And bicycles. That, yeah, bicycles. There you go. <laughs> yeah, we All right, so we are in Dillon, Colorado, and we are at Len's house, and uh, he's going to give you a kind of brief description of what this area is. Uh, has to offer it's just it's spectacular so go ahead well thanks eric so behind me is lake dillon reservoir which is actually owned by the city of omaha or city of denver rather i'm sorry and then right behind me kind of to the right with the snow cap on it is um a buffalo mountain i just forgot my phone. buffalo mountain and to the right is the start of the gore range and that goes up for about 10 15 miles to the north um, off to the left hand side, you can barely see it from this place, is the start of the 10 mile uh, mountain range. And um, and this is Lake Dillon, right? And this is Lake Dillon, yes. And what elevation are we at? Right 9,100 feet of elevation. 9,100 feet. And so on the 10 mile range is the uh, ski area of Breckenridge. And then further down, uh, but not on the 10 mile range, but further down from here is Arapahoe Basin ski area and yeah. Keystone. Yeah. Um, and then up further up uh, Highway 70 where we came in, that's where Vale is up there. Yes. Uh, yeah. Closer to the Copper, Copper Mountain and Vale on the other side of Vale Path. Gotcha. Uh, gotcha. Beaver Creek, that's another uh, ski area. Yeah. Um, all within 30 minutes of this of my house. World class. Yes. Okay, Just I'm gonna absolutely back fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. So and and. What kills me is you're, you're really not a fisherman. So I, I see fish. all of this water and it always just like drives me nuts. But uh, like you said, you just fish when you go hiking when, up in the mountains and need to eat. You yes, know, when I'm backpacking. Yeah. When I'm backpacking, I'll have a fishing license for the week or yeah. whatever. Yeah. And I'll carry the gear and, and then I love, it's delicious. Oh. Delicious because it's very fresh, right yeah, out of right the stream. Yeah. yeah, and we have several uh, what they call gold metal or gold class uh, streams here, the yeah. Blue River being one of them, yeah. and uh, for for trout fishing. Yeah. And it's all catch and release. Yeah. Um, and well, I even saw the sign coming in, uh, what, what is, what's the name of the town? Thorn? Silverthorn. Silverthorn is a big rainbow trout as yes. part of that yes. nice colored sign. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
And another thing that Silverthorne is known for is we have a couple of gold medal uh, Olympic uh, winners here. Really? Living here, yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, in, Olympic gold medalist exactly. in skiing. Uh, Snow, yeah. Snow, Snow sports. Snow sports. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go. So first. now this is, yeah, and show the backyard. <laughs> behind me is Tenderfoot Mountain. And uh, Tenderfoot Mountain is... It's only about uh, 10,500 feet of elevation at the only? top. And um, off to the left here, just beyond the trees, uh, uh, about three years ago, we had a little forest fire. Oh, goodness. Um, I was painting my house and the fire started and I was a little nervous. Oh, boy. But yeah. I thought, I just kept painting my house because I thought the, the smoke's going in the direction, it's going uphill. Yeah. If it shifts, at least my house will look good on TV. Yeah. <laughs> it yes, it's fun. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right, you guys, that is it. Uh, thank you so much, my friend. You're thank welcome. You so thank much. you. It's been uh, a pleasure, just a joy to get to meet you and hang yeah. out with you yesterday. And then uh, I had I had a great time. It's very educational and yeah. learned a lot. And uh, looking forward to doing more uh, robbery. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you letting us stop by and spend some time and. Uh, and, and be able to talk and talk shop and excellent, have fun. excellent. It was all right, brother. We'll Thank see you, you again. Well, sure. without a doubt. Yeah. Oh, and, all, and I will have my fishing rod with me. Excellent. You don't have to go. Excellent. Just point me in the right direction. We've got the spare bedrooms waiting for you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next one. We love you. Bye. <laughs>